It's a big night for the Tanger Center for the Performing Arts in Greensboro. Les Miserables kicks off its week tonight. If this show is anything like the previous ones, attendance will be high. The last three Broadway shows sold nearly 70,000 tickets combined. And since tonight is opening night, we decided to catch up with some of the stars. I spoke with Addie Morales, who plays Cosette, and Haley Dorch, who plays Fontaine, to get a little background on the actors and the show. Take a look. Haley Natty, thanks for taking time out today. This is great. Haley, I'm going to start with you. I want to, I want to talk about... This is such an iconic show, an iconic role. I mean, tell me about your experience with this and how excited you must have been when you first heard. Oh my gosh, I mean, it was just like my life changed in a moment, honestly. I was sitting in tap class, you know, at the University of Michigan my sophomore year, and um, I, I got the call and I immediately called my parents and it just kind of felt like this incredible moment that I'll never forget. And now here I am, you know, seven months into all of this and, it, it's nothing like I imagined it to be. <laughs> nothing. It is I, hard work to make, <laughs> take a show on the I road. I know. It's a, it's a full-time job. I mean, I feel like my body is ready for, you know, spring break still. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's insane. And it, it has been such a, a challenge mentally, I would say, and physically. And that is the most rewarding part about all of it. I had a dream. Addie, so you and I were talking because I'm, I'm on the same lines. I was a theater kid growing up. I mean, that, that was your beginnings then. Yes. Tell me about that. Yes. I, my parents had me try every extracurricular growing up at all. And as soon as I did theater, which I was reluctant to do at all, at 12, bitten by the bug, never turned back, quit everything else. That was your whole focus from it became there on out. My life immediately. I was obsessed. Anybody that loves theater knows this show. It's pressure, I think, at a different level than if you played a show that maybe not is not as popular, right? I, I never realized how much the pressure got to me until uh, further down in the line. I would say fairly recently, I was like, wow, this is an immense amount of pressure I have on me. That's intense. Um, and especially, you know, only being 21 years old, I, I'm just expecting myself to lose my mind at any moment, you know, and be <laughs> reckless and be a 21 year old. But um, I've always had a more mature spirit, I would say. And so I really enjoy, you know, working and, and being surrounded by such a mature group of individuals. We are in roles that are, you know, 38, 40 years old, just on stage. And that comes with a lot of iconic performances. It comes with a lot of history that you have to respect. But what's exciting is we get to put our own new stamp on it and introduce it to a brand new generation who get to look at us and see themselves. And that is the most exciting part. Guys, thank you for taking time out today. Lovely, so much fun. Yes, thanks for having thank us. You. I'm just wow. telling you, if you haven't seen this show, and it's been 25 years since I've seen it, I want to see it again. It is one of the most powerful Broadway shows I've ever seen in my life. I didn't find out until recently that it was based on a concept album. So, uh, so basically a, an album of songs were written for Victor Hugo's work, Les Miserables. Um, and then someone said, well, let's, let's make it a play. Let's, let's make mm -hmm. it a whole thing. So there's very little spoken word. It's basically mute song after song after song that just tells the whole story. And it's a very complicated wow. story, but really deep and moving. And the Tanger Center is a perfect place oh. to put on a performance perfect. like this. Great, you know, sound, great area to go to. And I know a lot of people who already got tickets to go see it. I want to go. What, so what would you say is so great? Like, what, why did you like it so much? Well, um, it's a deep story about relationships. Forgiveness is a big part of it. Um, and a man who, Jean Valjean, is the lead. So if, if you can't get to the play, r rent the, at least watch the movie with Hugh Jackman mm -hmm. and um, Anne Hathaway, uh, who played uh, Fontaine. It, it's just, it's very deep and moving, and there's a lot of life lessons in it. Incredible at that 21 year old. Yes. yes. Wow, what a story. She was snatched out of college. It wasn't even a drama major, she was a mm -hmm. dance major. Just talented and blessed. Talented. Mm -hmm.